Hi everyone! In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to create an SVG file with a fold line in Adobe Illustrator. So once Illustrator is open, the first thing you need to do is come over here to Create New. We're going to create a new document that is 12 inches wide by 12 inches high. And the reason I like to make it that size is because for most cutting machines, the standard mat size is 12 inches by 12 inches. So if we create a document that is that size as we're designing, we can see that it's not going to be too big to cut. So once you have 12 by 12 in here, just go ahead and click create. And here is our 12 by 12 document. And for the purposes of this video, I'm going to do a pretty simple project here just to demonstrate how to create and use the fold line. So we're going to create a card. So I'm going to come over here to the left side to the rectangle tool. Then come back over here to the canvas and just click once. And that will bring up this dialog box that lets you specify exactly how big you want the rectangle to be. And five by seven is a pretty standard card size. So I'm going to do five inches wide by seven inches tall. Then once you have that entered in there, just go ahead and click OK. And it created a rectangle here. I'm going to switch to the selection tool. So we have our rectangle here. And now I'm going to come up here to change its color because it's a little hard to see. So I'm just going to pick a blue color. And then here we see that it has a stroke of one point. And whenever you create these SVG files, you want to make sure that you take all the strokes off. Otherwise, they'll cause problems with the machine when it goes to cut it. So I'm just going to go ahead and switch that to no stroke. So we have our card here. And now we need to create a fold line. So I'm going to come over here to the line segment tool, then come back over here, and I'm just going to start right outside here. And then I'm going to click and drag to create the line and hold shift as I'm doing it to keep it straight. So we have a line there. Then I'm going to come up to the stroke dialog up here, and I'm going to change the stroke weight to two points. And you can try having at other points sizes if you'd like, but I just found that two works really well. So now we have the fold line here, and now we need to make sure that it's centered both vertically and horizontally on the card. So I'm going to come up here and switch to my selection tool again. Then I'll just click and drag to select both of these shapes. So they're both selected, and then I'll come up here to the align tools up here and I'm going to click Horizontal Align Center and Vertical Align Center. And that way, it will just make it so that line is right in the middle of the card, right where their fold line should be. And now we can tell that this will be the front of the card and this will be the back of the card, and this is where it will fold. So the next step I want to do is just make this line fit this card a little bit better. It can stick off the sides a little bit. That won't cause you any problems, but I just like to have it a little bit closer. So I'm going to click and hold down on that endpoint and just hold shift and drag it in just a little bit. Then I'll repeat that on the other side. Click and hold the endpoint, hold shift and drag it in. So we have it right there. And then make sure that line is still selected. And one last thing I like to do to all of the fold lines on my SVG files is to come up here to Object and come all the way down to Compound Path and click Make. And this seems to work really well, at least on the Cricut machines, to create that fold line. And I especially like to do this when I'm using multiple fold lines and I want to keep them all together. So you'll just select all of them and then click Compound Path, and that will keep them united and as one layer for the cutting machine to score. So now that we have all of that done, we're just going to click and drag to select both of these once again. And now I'm just going to group them together so we can create our design without accidentally moving anything around. So on a Mac, I'm going to click Command-G. 
On a PC, you can do Control G, and that will group them both together. And then once you have them grouped together, come over here to the Layers panel on the right and click that arrow to drop down, and you'll have this that says Group. And I'll just go ahead to this box right here and click Lock, and that will lock them so they won't be able to move around. Now the next step is just to create our design for the card. So I'm going to keep this really simple and I'm just going to make some star shapes on here. So I'm just going to come over here to the rectangle tool, click and hold that, and then go down to the star tool. And then I'll just draw some star shapes out here. But right now I have it set so it just is doing a stroke, it's not doing a fill, and I want to change that. So I'm going to come over here to the fill and the stroke palette here, and I'm going to click this little arrow thing to switch them. So now it has no stroke, but it has a black fill. So I'm just going to go ahead and design the rest of the front of this card. Okay, so once you have a design that you like, you need to come over here to the Layers panel and we're going to click that lock to unlock that group. Then I'll come over and just click on the rectangle to select the group and then we want to ungroup this. So to ungroup this, I'm just going to come up here to Object and click Ungroup and that will separate them out. And so now I want to keep that line from interfering with what we're about to do here. So I'm going to come over to the Layers panel and I'm just going to lock the layer with a line. So once that is locked, now you just need to click and drag, and we're going to create a selection that gets all of those stars and the rectangle in it. So all of that is selected. Then you're going to want to open the Pathfinder tool up, and mine is right here, but you will probably need to go to Window, Pathfinder. Then once that's open, come over here to this right here, which says minus front, and click that. And what that did was take all of the shapes that were on top of the blue rectangle and cut them out of the blue rectangle. So now we just need to come over to the layers panel again and you can see that our fold line is now underneath the rectangle and we want that to be on top. So the cutting machine will be able to score on top of the card. So I'll come over to the layers panel, unlock that line, and then just click it and drag it up and over that other layer. So now we can see that it's on top. I always like to group the fold line with the shape that it's meant to be on top of because that keeps them together as you're working with in the cutting machine software and it just makes it a little bit easier to deal with. So now you can press Command G or Control G to group that. And now it's grouped together and you can see that those stars are cut out of this. So one last step that is nice to do before sending it to your cutting machine is to go into outline mode and make sure there's no weird shapes that you didn't realize you created or anything like that. So do command Y to go into outline mode. And that will just show that we have no extra shapes in here that we didn't mean to have. And everything looks good. And then we have the fold line here. So go back into regular view by pressing command Y or control Y again. And so we have this, it's grouped together and it's ready to go. So now all that's left to do is save it. So I'm going to come up to file and you can do export, export as and do SVG, but I found that on some cutting machines that causes problems. So it's best to do save as and give it a name. And then just come over to where it says format and click the drop down and switch to SVG. Don't do SVGC, make sure you do SVG. And then you can leave this use artboards unchecked because with some machines it seems to cause a problem if you check that. And then click save. Then it will come up with this dialog box and you just need to leave all your settings as mine are here. It should automatically be like this but SVG 
just double check everything and then click OK. And that is it for creating the SVG file with a fold line in Adobe Illustrator. And lastly, I just wanted to show you how to use the SVG file that you created with Cricut. So with Cricut Design Space open, I'm going to click New Project, then click Upload, Upload Image, Browse, find your SVG file, open it up, give it a name, click Save, then select it and click Insert Images. And so it will open up here. And you can see because we group these together, they'll stay together when you move it around, which is nice. Then come over here to the Layers panel. And I like to always put the fold line on the very top layer so I know that that's the one that needs to be set to score. So this top layer here, just click the scissors and then switch it to score. So now that fold line is set to score on the card, but if you click make it without doing anything else, you'll find that you have a problem here. The score line will go to a separate mat and then the actual card will be on a different mat and you don't want that because it won't score on the card. So click cancel. We wanna make sure that we have both of these selected and this is really important, click attach. This will keep the line together with the rectangle and then click make it and you'll find that now they will stay together on one mat. And then just go ahead and have your machine cut it and that's it.